Hey guys, Jay Agone with Keepsakes. It's Independence Day, June 12th, and I am here at San Pablo City, Laguna for Eureka Fest 2022 here at the Ultimart Shopping Plaza. Aside from Eureka Fest, we also have another event in Dumaguete. For more on this, we have our correspondent from Cebu, Gary Montejo. Gary? Thank you, Jay. As events are slowly coming back in the Philippines, so as here in the Visayas. As a zip code of 6200 kicks off with a convention after two and a half years. This is 6200 Geekon in Dumaguete City. Let's go! Geek life is indeed coming back in Dumaguete as hobbies like cosplaying, K-pop, art, and so much more are gathered for the 6200 Geekon here at Southview Hotel in Dumaguete City. The limitation and the new guidelines that everyone has to follow doesn't stop our fellow condors in enjoying major activities. This was a banter between yes. like friends and I guess since slowly from two years ago it was the last con I went to was from Cebu and then I believe like after the, today is like 2022 I believe it's okay to host small gatherings yes. since I've seen like uh, Manila already opening their gates for yeah. conventions and especially from Mindanao so I think it's about time we also open here in Visayas especially in our little city and town this is Dumaguete city I agree mm -hmm. how does it feel you know to see that there's a lot of con goers it's very coming here in and it was encouraging yeah. yet overwhelming <laughs> Overwhelming, really. I it's usually, like from the past uh, years or so that I went to our local conventions, it was like just a a small community lang. Only it was, in Dumaguete. Yeah, only in Dumaguete. <laughs> yes. It was like it, we were, we can easily be counted lang, and it was like friends between friends or yeah. like a circle or something. Not, not like this. Yeah, like, not like this that we yes, don't any, imagine, no. Yeah, uh, we don't people know from Manila people. and Cebu yeah. are in, Man in Mindanao. And Mindanao are actually oh. coming to your event. This yeah. was not planned. This was not planned. <laughs> <laughs> we, not, we did not plan for this. <laughs> people are enjoying their cosplays and for. And I really are a cosplay. Are cosplaying right now? <laughs> cosplaying right now. A really busy husband right now. Huh? And we actually are having a great time for after two years of no events. This is the time we actually start an event for to enjoy for a long time. The 6200 Geekon features Steve Abanto's art talk and his art book signing in the morning. This is followed by a geek talk about cosplayer origin stories by our cosplay guest speakers all the way from Manila and Cebu like Alan V, Ai Natsumi, Miles Sablante, Leanne Sabandera, and Ranchi. How does it feel to be the first guest um, at, uh, in a hobby convention like 6200 Geek Park in Lumaguete City after two and a half years? Well, so happy, happy and, and grateful. grateful? Yeah, honor, yeah. something like that. It's a time skip. Yeah, time skip. It's a big time skip. Like, it's like a fever dream. Fever yeah. Dream. Yeah. Yeah, it's, wow. it's, it's like, quite... where did the two years go? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing really much has changed, pero it's more of like, Finally, we miss it. Yeah, parang yeah, we miss it. Yeah, because we just during the pandemic, it. we're just usually cosplaying at home, right? So it's uh, like finally we have events. It's like going back to normal. Yeah. Two like, years sounds surreal. Every... Yeah, two okay. years sounds surreal. <laughs> Want to experience red light, green light, or the honeycomb challenge? Let the citizens of Dumaguete show you how they play Squid Game. The top three winners gets cash prizes. I tried the honeycomb challenge and man, it was so hard! And of course, a hobby convention won't be the same without showcasing artistry and creativity through a cosplay competition with our esteemed cosplay judges to choose the grand cosplay winner. It feels like the win is just a bonus because I wanted to, like, to do this because I love the character so yeah, it's still overwhelming but I'm really happy. It's such a positive experience. It was really fun. I'm, I'm so happy. I didn't even expect to win. I just wanted to have fun. I really love cosplay. It's how I met so many of my friends and a lot of times I actually commission local seamstresses to make my costumes and I work together with them and I'm so happy to do their job. Uh, like a worthy presentation. 
the event that we're gonna have um, next year is a collaboration actually yes. with um, Comiket. So it's gonna be Comiket X6200 Geek, which will be in 2023, but we don't know which, no uh, date we yet. don't have an exact date yet. As of now, we're gonna be creating a page after the, this event, yes. which is gonna be the 6200 GeekCon official, official page. Uh -huh. With the success of 6200 GeekCon here in Dumaguete, the future of hobby events is bright as they embrace the new normal and have fun at the same time. With cameraman Lloyd Capito, for keepsakes, Gary Montejo, we got you covered. Back to you, Jay. Thank you very much. That was Gary Montejo, our Cebu correspondent from Dumaguete. And until the next video, Jay Agonipo with keepsakes.